Giuliano, and I'm here for part two of our Square One Art Ladybugs with uh, kindergarten. This is also good for first grade. So for my kindergartners, I have my whole class here right now. Uh, what I wanna say first is that we're going to spend time decorating our ladybugs first. So as I look through uh, your folder, I noticed that a lot of you guys still have tons of work to do using a black marker and decorating your ladybugs. Raise your hand if that's you. It's probably most of you. All right, so if that's you, when I call your name, the first thing that'll happen is you'll just grab a black marker from my center table and you'll continue decorating your ladybugs. Can you put other colors from your kit on here too? Yeah. Definitely. All right, so once you're through with that, you'll check in with me and I'll tell you if you're ready to move on or not. Kenzie and Marley. All right. So then once you're ready, once I okay you, I will give you watercolors. You're going to see there's already wa there's already water at your table. So here's what you're going to be doing with the watercolors. You're going to be dipping your brush in water first, okay? Cuz we always do that. Now we never smash our brush into the paint. Instead, we give it a really nice little spin. So it's a swirl, 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 swirl. We're always gentle. We never dig or push into the paints. And if they're coming out slimy, that means we're digging and pushing into the paints. We don't want to use them slimy because watercolors, if they stay slimy, your picture will stay sticky forever. A hundred years from now, it'll still be sticky. The more you swirl, the more vibrant your color is going to come out. So take your time with that step. So maybe you're doing the sky. Do you think you can put a sun in your picture? Of course. Definitely. All right, I'm changing my color. Now I always wash my brush off before I change colors because I want to make sure that I don't, what? Someone tell me. I don't want to contaminate. That's right, I don't want to mix colors. You don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make a little sun. I'm painting only below this line here. Here's my sun. Well, my sun is orange. Okay, I cleaned my brush off. And I'm back to that other color I was using. Do you have to use the same colors as me? No. You can use whatever colors you feel. I want to show you how to mix colors. You can mix colors with your watercolor too. So I'm washing my brush off and I'm gonna go into a different color. So this is a different blue here. Now it may seem like there's nothing here, right? Some of you kids would actually come up to me saying there's nothing in here, but what I'm doing is scraping the sides and indeed there's enough for me to get some color. Look at that. And I just mixed some dark blue with it. It's more of a true blue. Yeah, it's, a true. it's a true blue. It's a true, true blue. Like true. Can I paint on my grass blades if I want to? Sure. Okay. Why not? Can I make them more green? Yes. Me too. It is looking pretty good, huh? Can I paint on my um, on my dirt? No. Why not? Yes. Okay. Yes, I think I will. What would be a good color to put on my dirt? So, Kenzie, what do you think? You could put like a little bit of greenish. Well, I've been using a lot of green. How about a different color that I haven't used already? All right, let's see what happens if I put brown on it. Okay. It might be a little hard to see. We'll see. Oh, that's kind of nice. That Oh, Kenzie, that was a really good idea. Oh, I really like it. Now, what if I want to make some more dirt? Can I, can I go into the black here and make some little bits of dirt? Someone tell me something else I could put in my picture. I bet someone can think of something I haven't done already. What 
Yeah, saucy. Oh, Saucy's talking. I'm going to pass it to Marley. What can I put a little bit of in my picture? Some purple, some red? Okay. Okay. Thank you to Juliana for being the quietest student in my class. She's so nice and quiet. Can I put a little bit of red on my ladybugs? Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, you get the gist. You guys can make it happen with these pictures. You can do anything you want. I want you guys to play around. Remember, it is a ladybug scene. So, Leotis, whatever you do, keep it a ladybug scene. It's ladybugs in the grass based on the book. Does anyone remember what book we read? It was called the... The, I think it was the Grouchy Ladybug. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. All right, you guys, we're going to sign off in three, two, one. Goodbye!